All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, our praises, our glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Sai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father who the world, in, the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Sai, the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Will I say the water or thank you to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Sai for the Rakakwadash? The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and we will. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyon Wazakwanyam all around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and its sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, so all you called, the men of Valley, South Carolina, coming back with another lesson. And I just want to harp on real quick how Babylon the Great is divided, okay? Uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is divided, all right? It's divided uh, what, with religion, okay? Uh, divided with the politics, okay. Divided with uh, financial classes, you got the uh, rich, the middle class, and the poor, which they're trying to do away with the middle class. All right, you even got um, uh, gender uh, division, male versus female. You got that division. All right, race division, which has always been here. That's what this country was founded on. All right, race uh, division. All right. So, and now you even have, uh, like I said, the political division is so tense right now. You got Edomites not liking Edomites, all right? You got these uh, people that are of the same nation really hating, really not liking, really want to harm each other, <laughs> all right? Really not seeing eye to eye, all right? As you know, as the world knows, you've seen that uh attempted assassination on one of the on the uh one of the candidates for president that just goes to show you how divided this country is okay and we're gonna grab some scriptures about a divided kingdom and it's all prophecy okay so uh just type in something in google you know trying to get a little article or something but you know there was a uh, taking me here and there so i got this little uh whatever you will call this it's basically from wikipedia so i typed in does the election have america divided and this is the answer that came up it says the country is more politically divided now than it has been in the past 20 years not only is there less collaboration and mutual understanding between democrats and republicans but members of both parties increasingly view each other in an extremely negative way all right <laughs> and you got um like the scriptures goes into that uh what that lamb with two horns representing these different uh political parties all right as it was in rome because we know that this is what rome 2.0 rome reincarnated all right so babylon the great is divided as ever before so I was just harping on this, thinking of this, and some precepts came in my mind. Just wanted to, uh, you know, harp on that. So let's uh, get into it real quick. This is uh, Mark chapter 3 and verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. See? All right, so you got a kingdom that is divided uh, against itself. You got Americans... All right, Babylonians uh, infighting, a lot of infighting. They don't have the same political views. All right, they don't agree on the same things, don't have the same religious reviews. All right, let me see if there's something uh, before here. Yeah, I'll just get, uh, stick to that. Uh, is it more on this? Yeah. So I'll read this again, Mark 3 and 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So this kingdom is not standing. This kingdom is crumbling. Babylon the Great is falling, is falling. All right. Why? Because what prophecy, first and foremost, ordained for this place to uh, crumble, to fall. And other reasons that that is it's divided. Okay. So it's not going to stand. It's not strong. It's not sturdy as it once was. Uh, 60 years ago, 70 years ago. Edomites were basically on the same page uh, <laughs> 50, 60 years ago. But now, all right, 
You got what Antifa and militias, all right, that are really against the government. Okay, because they see how their own government, their own people really does not care about the uh, average person. All right, it's the elites and everybody else is uh, the sheep. And these other uh, Edomites ain't going for it, man. Okay, so yeah, Babylon the Great is not standing because this kingdom is divided against each other. Verse 25, and if a house be divided, Against itself, that house cannot stand. See, this house of Babylon the Great is not going to stand. It's crumbling. All right? So you got all that infighting with the Edomites. And, you know, first and foremost, you got prophecy coming to pass. You got the Israelites out on the highways and byways preaching the downfall of this place, man. All right? Which is a, a beautiful thing. Verse 26, And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided... He cannot stand, but has the end. Right? So what? Satan, these uh, top elitists, all right, are being, uh, are rising up. Well, the lower level, level of Edomites, okay, are rising up against the higher level, level of Edomites. All right? And it says, and be divided. Like it, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but it had the end. So, Babylon the Great has an end, and we are in the times of the end of Babylon the Great. Man, you could just cut on your news and see. All right, see how look how these so called Democrats and Republicans hate each other, <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing, man. This is prophecy, uh, uh, screaming at us right in our face. All right, just something I was uh, meditating on real quick. It's Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you have going on, man. You got the Egyptians versus the Egyptians. And Babylon the Great is what? Modern day uh, uh, Egypt modern day babylon modern day rome and you have the what they're fighting against each other all right you just had uh an edomite try to take out a presidential candidate man not saying that this is what never happened before all right it's been presidents that got smoked all right but these are in the times that uh it's half and half all right half of the people are with the government Half of the Edomites are against this government, man. And us brothers and sisters in the faith and to know we just sitting back watching this prophecy fold, man. Continuing to preach the downfall of this place and see it happening in our eyes, with our eyes, man. All right. Seeing these uh, heathens uh, not get along and ha really hate each other. It says uh, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And that's just what you got going on, man. These cities versus these cities. You got the red states and the blue states. Okay. Um, it says, well, now that was kind of it on that. And just to prove that what? This is modern day uh, Egypt. Going to go to Revelation 11 and 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of, that, of the great city. That great city represents America, man. All right, America is the great city written about in the scriptures. It says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, so this place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. It says where our Lord was crucified. And this is one of the places, man, of the main places that our Lord was crucified over here in Babylon the Great. Because how was he crucified? Well, crucifixion basically means we're exed out. All right. They X'd out what the image, the name, okay, the people of the Messiah. Okay, so that's how we line it up and know that Babylon the Great, aka America, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right, and these people, all right, the Egyptians are set against the Egyptians, man. It's going down in Babylon the Great. These Edomites hate each other. Okay, and um, so I ain't going to ramble on. Just something I, I was harking on, you know, on my spirit real quick. Wanted to bring that out. All right. This place is falling. 
And it's a beautiful thing to see. Call Halaya Hawabashimi Asai. Shalom.